Literally send this shirt back to hell. Okay. Hi, my name is Kristen, and like many women, I often have problems where my shirts gap at my boobs. Now, if you look online, there's lots of solutions out there that work if you have a lot of time or money or a tailor or if you care a lot, but I don't have any of those things. So instead, I'm going to try out four quick, easy solutions and see if any of them work. Okay, so we're gonna try these four things. Sticky back Velcro, Hollywood fashion tape, safety pins, and special pinks pins. All right, so I'm gonna try to use a good old fashioned safety pin and see if I can make this work. Good old tried and true. Tried and true piece of shit. I hate this already. This is as good as it's gonna get. I bet I could struggle with this for about 15 more minutes and it might look nominally better. It probably will not. Like you're drawing more attention to the gap than like just having the gap. You might as well just be proud and have like a big hole in your shirt. Now we're gonna try the fashion tape. I want this cut. <laughs> just give me some tape. Okay, yes. Let's do some shirt surgery. The cool thing about this tape is that it has these little things that you can peel off once you've applied it to the shirt. And now I'm going to seal it shut and see if it works. I don't know how long you're supposed to do this for, so I'm just gonna wing it. Okay, so this seems to have created another gap, so I'm going to address this little hole as well. It is really hard to see over your own boobs. Okay, so it looks like it's pretty safe, but I feel like given enough time, it might pop right open. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna try is the special pink safety pin that's supposed to make it easier to use a safety pin on your shirt. It's very special, it costs $3, which means I've already lost all of them except for this one. The first thing you're supposed to do is stick the pin face down on the inside of your shirt so that you don't see it. After you poke it out, you're supposed to flip it so it acts like a little invisible button on the inside. The hard part is figuring out where you're supposed to line it up on this side. Uh, and I don't know how to do that, so we're just gonna pray. Okay, uh, all right. So it should work like that, except that it causes all your other buttons to come unbuttoned. I feel like I don't do a lot of punching in my everyday life, but you know, just in case. Oh, yep, see, okay. We've already come free. I mean, this part's fine, but it doesn't really secure you all that well. Sticky back Velcro is all the power of Velcro and none of the power of sewing. You have to line this up, which is a lot harder than it looks, actually. Eh, close enough. Okay. Now I don't have scissors here. They're in the bathroom. Okay, now I'm gonna figure out how much I need to cut. Uh, sure. The world's hardest sticker. And we're gonna line this up here. So you're supposed to hold this down for 24 hours according to the instructions. So I'm gonna hold it down for about 30 seconds. Okay, I'm bored. Let's do the other one here. Fighting with stickers. Just a normal day fighting with stickers. This feels pretty good. Honestly, this feels more secure than the buttons, which is saying something about modern shirt design. I don't know, what do people do? Like, I'm feeling pretty good in this. I kind of just want to do this to every shirt I own. And the winner is Sticky Back Velcro. Surprise! I know there are probably better ways to do this if you have a tailor or more than $5, but if you have less than $5, Sticky Back Velcro is your girl or your boy or whatever gender it happens to be.